Overclockers, my name's Bryony and I'm here to bring you straight up to speed with this week's gaming and PC tech stories. I'm here every Friday, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This week, let's talk free games, game delays, and new hardware launches and deals. So roll that intro. Kicking off the gaming chapter of the news this week is once again which free game you can grab over on the Epic Game Store. If you love simulation games, you definitely don't want to miss adding Cities Skylines to your library. The second instalment of this classic city building game has been rumoured for release in 2022. And although nothing is confirmed, it makes sense for the original to go on a deal like this just before the launch of the sequel. You can't get much better than free, so it's well worth a try to experience the challenges of building, maintaining and expanding your own city. The gameplay is incredibly detailed with up to 36 square kilometres to play with and powerful tools that give you complete control. It normally retails for $22.99, so make sure to grab it completely free before the 17th of March. I'll drop a link below. The next gaming story this week is about Square Enix's upcoming action RPG for Spoken. Unfortunately, it seems as though we're gonna have to wait quite a bit longer to get our hands on this beautiful looking game, as the release date has been moved from the 23rd of May until the 11th of October this year. The official statement over on Twitter reads, we have made the decision to move the release date of Forspoken to October 11th, 2022. Our vision for this exciting new IP is to deliver a game world and hero that gamers across the globe will want to experience for years to come. So getting it right is extremely important to us. If you somehow missed the announcement of Forspoken, it follows the story of Frey who is suddenly transported to the sprawling open world of Athea. The stunning landscape is packed with magic, monsters and mystery, and Frey is trapped with a magical sentient bracelet as her only guide slash companion. Her mission is to find a way back home, hopefully in time to feed her adorable cat Homer, who briefly appears at the start of the trailer. The gameplay that's been shown so far looks pretty incredible and supposedly the team will now spend the next few months working on polishing up the final game ready for the revised launch date at the end of the year. Let me know if Forspoken is on your wishlist for 2022, even with that rather painful $64.99 asking price. The third gaming story this week is that 343 Industries has delayed the launch of Halo Infinite's campaign co-op. Halo Infinite was launched back in November last year after a year-long delay from its original 2020 release date. Even after that delay, it still failed to launch with sought-after features like campaign co-op or Forge. Recently, in a blog post, Joseph Staten explained, the reality is that it's going to take more time to land a high quality, full featured, full player network co-op experience in the massive wide open world of Halo Infinite. The non-linear wide open sections of the campaign present some big challenges for split screen that have taken us some time to solve. All this means that we will not be able to ship campaign network co-op on May the 3rd at the start of season two. This news is certainly a disappointing blow for Halo fans who've been patiently waiting to hunt down those achievements with a friend. However, there is hope as 343 is still planning to deliver campaign network co-op later in season two with a new revised release date for that and for split screen co-op as soon as possible. When it comes to Forge mode, 343 Industries said that it's still aiming to launch the feature with season three. Apparently, the mode is actually currently being tested by a small group of dedicated community creators who ensure that it's going to live up to the expectations when it comes to creation, sharing, browsing, and the actual gameplay. It seems like Halo players will be waiting weeks for any sort of co-op and then months for the launch of Forge. 
It's not all doom and gloom though, a season two called Lone Wolves will be launching with a new story, story themed events, battle pass items, balance changes, bug fixes, and new modes and maps. If you want to read the full blog post with the full details of season two, I'll drop a link below. Now let's blaze on into our next story, which is that FaZe just announced its latest member. FaZe Clan is one of the most popular esports and entertainment organizations, and it's growing from strength to strength after being founded in 2010. Now, it's definitely cemented itself in history with news that entertainment icon and avid gamer Snoop Dogg will join FaZe Clan's board of directors and become the newest member of the clan. The announcement video is definitely something else, and FaZe Snoop, as he's now known, will partner with FaZe Clan on content, merchandise, digital goods, and youth community programs. Kai Henry, Chief Strategy Officer of FaZe Clan said, The organic relationship between FaZe and Snoop has been building for years now, so we are thrilled to officially welcome FaZe Snoop to the family. As the original internet kid and first generation gamer, Snoop has always understood the cultural connection between music, lifestyle and gaming. The partnership is apparently thanks to Snoop Dogg's son, Cordell, who said, when I look at the two brands, I was inspired by the synergy they could create. So I brought them together in this partnership. I can't wait for the world to see what we are about to do. I'm pretty sure the world agrees, as there has been plenty of hilarious shareable moments ever since Snoop started streaming back in 2018. We've had a week of silent streams, classic gamer rage, and even some dodgy hands-free gaming. It sounds like a promising partnership on both sides, and Snoop Dogg will even launch a community outreach program that's centered around charitable activities that help to support youth. Snoop Dogg joins FaZe Clan's group of over 85 members, who are already a mix that extends well outside the gaming space. But let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll also drop a link to the full press release in the description. FaZe up! Moving on to the hardware chapter of the news this week, our first story is all about this fantastic looking, compact, 75% keyboard. It's called the glorious PC Gaming Race GMMK Pro Pre-Built Edition, and it slots in as Glorious's flagship enthusiast keyboard, providing instant access to the enthusiast keyboard world. The GMMK Pro has already cemented itself as an excellent way into the custom keyboard space, and I currently have this keyboard on my own personal wish list for 2022. The pre-bought edition means there's no faffing around with tiny lube brushes and awkward switches. Instead, it comes expertly assembled, pre-installed with brand new linear Glorious Fox pre-lube switches and white GPBT keycaps. It's as simple as plug and play, so let's do a little sound test. so satisfying and of course it's as solid as a rock thanks to the CNC milled aluminium chassis. The GMMK Pro pre-built also comes with a stealth wrist rest, black coil cable, glorious switch puller and glorious keycap puller. It really is the complete package so you can use it straight away but still have the option to play around and customise the switches, backplate or keycaps to your liking in the future. And because it's a GMMK Pro keyboard, there are a lot of options to choose from when it comes to aesthetics and feel, with many of them also stocked on the OCK website. If you love the look of this keyboard, you can order yours now in ISO UK layout for $319.99, which might seem like a lot at first, but trust me, once you get into the custom keyboard hobby, it's simply a drop in the ocean. My personal weakness is those beautiful artisan keycaps. 
If you want to make your setup glorious, check the description below for a link. To finish off this week's episode, I've got an awesome deal for you thanks to the guys over at MSI. They're giving away a free copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and the Dawn of Ragnarok expansion when you purchase one of their eligible products via Overclockers UK. If you're looking to upgrade your PC, it's definitely worth a look at motherboards like the beautiful MPG Force, high performance coolers like the ARGB Core Liquid, or the high end MSI Artemis monitors with ultra wide curved displays. Pricing starts at just $129.95 and with such a great selection of MSI products on offer, you can game like a Vi King. This offer won't be around forever, so make sure to get your order in before the 19th of April. It's super easy to redeem via the MSI Member Center and the code for your Ubisoft Connect copy will be sent directly to your email address. If you want to check out all of the awesome MSI hardware included in this great deal, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers News Weekly. Remember to leave me a comment below, let me know what you think about Snoop Dogg joining FaZe Clan. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you again next Friday.